guys, what's up? It's Sandy and to make a long story short, I moved to Japan and I live in Tokyo now. <laughs> um, pretty much since my first time I ever came to Japan in 2018, it has been a dream of mine to live here or at least stay for an extended period of time and especially for car enthusiasts. This place is just a mecca of like cool fun things to do this. So right now, pretty much the easiest way for me to live in Japan was as a student. So I'm here on a student visa. Um, I'm doing that through the current university that I go to in Canada. We have a partner school in Tokyo here. So I my classes are starting in April, but I arrived on March 9th, just to kind of give myself some extra time to travel around and go see my friends and go do cool stuff. So I'm really glad that I did that. And then on March 10th, I got to come into the house that I'm living in now. I'm renting this house, so I got to check in, drop my stuff off, kind of get settled in. And then that was a Friday night, so of course I had to go to Daikoku PA because that's what you do when you're in Tokyo and it's a Friday night and you love cars, you go to Daikoku PA. So my friends Ken Ken and Takashi-san came to pick me up and we had so much fun. This man needs no introduction. Rockstar in Japan. Rockstar? Yes. <laughs> I don't. I watch <laughs> carburetor. Mikuni carburetor. Sandra, what, what is this? 240Z? Whoa. What? What is it? 280Z? I don't know. Oh, Stagia. Hey. Do you like Supra? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this car? No. Jisan. <laughs> Do you like Celica? Hell oh, yes. Hell oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Finally a car that you like. And then the next day, the Saturday, I went to Nagoya for the Nagoya Auto Festival which was really cool. Harrison, who you guys probably know from the Alex in Japan series, and he got a free ticket for me. He hid it underneath a cone, like a traffic, like a parking cone in the parking lot for me to go and find. He was like, it's here under this cone. And I like went the next day and found it. And it was so, so funny. So the following Monday after the Nagoya Auto Show, I met up with Harrison for the first time and he invited me to go to meet with Jun-san from Hardcore Tokyo and he took us to JB Custom Shop which is owned by another guy named Jun-san so we met them. Um, we got to see Jun-san's Camaro which has this custom pandem wide body kit on it and it looks awesome. <laughs> So I spent my first few days in Osaka kind of just chilling and enjoying life. But on that Saturday, I went to this night touring event. Oh my goodness, I had the absolute best time ever.
So yeah, the touring event was crazy. I think we met up with everyone maybe 9 o'clock or something. Anyway, we stayed out until like 6.30 or 7 a.m., which was lucky because I got to just get right on the train. Um, I went to go meet up with Ren Taro-san, who um, you guys also might know from the Alex in Japan series. He has this awesome pink S15 like Yashio factory kit and paint and everything. Because I just love seeing our sticker on cool cars. And his is amazing. So I started falling asleep in the car. So he took me back to the train station. I went back to Osaka and yeah, I went to sleep for like many, many hours after that. And then after that, I spent a few days just chilling in Osaka again, just catching up on work and everything. And I went to Fukuoka. And then my friend TK came and picked me up on that Saturday and took me to a non-Suri event. And this was my first time ever going to a non-Suri event. I really didn't know what to expect. We met up with a bunch of people at a konbini and then went to a few different meeting spots and more and more people joined us along the way. So then on the Sunday, the day after Non Surrey, I went for a cruise with Team Rayran, which was seriously legendary. It was so cool. Junji san came and picked me up, and then when we pulled into the parking lot, my jaw like dropped. There's so many cool cars, especially the Nissan Leopard and Junji san's first gen RX7. It's just so crazy to see those in person, because I've seen so many photos of them online, but to see them in person is just the craziest thing ever. And we had such a blast. <laughs> so cool and then they dropped me off at the airport where I said goodbye to not only them not only Fukuoka but like just this whole kind of preschool trip that I went on and it was bittersweet but it was fun and then after that I came back to Tokyo where I've kind of just been getting my life together and getting sorted getting settled in I've realized that it really makes a difference being with your friends and now I'm sad and I miss you guys and I don't want to run away by myself anymore even though this has always been a dream of mine so I'm happy 
but I have FOMO because the Checkpoint team also has so many fun things coming up this summer that I'm so, so sad that I'm going to miss out on, but it's fine because like you guys, I get to live vicariously through these YouTube videos, which is amazing. We have all sorts of new merch that's just come out. I think once this video drops, our latest um, release of Japanese inventory will have already been dropped, but we have tons of branded goods available. Um, shirts, sweaters, you can get this sweater, um, but we have our new drop that is seriously amazing. I've also ordered a few pieces just because I needed more clothes while I was here, of course. So yeah, you can buy stickers, buy a keychain, buy a sweater. We really appreciate it. Um, we love you have no idea how much it means to us, so thank you everyone who already has supported us and yeah, I don't know, big things coming up for us, I hate saying that, but I'm just looking forward to everything, thank you so much, if you've made it this far, I love you, and I don't know, I have nothing else to say, I'm really rambling, boom!